Hey what's going guys, it's CNG22 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today in this video we're doing part 2 to the world tour of this, this awesome world here I've made. So, yeah let's just get started I guess. If you are enjoying these videos though, hit the like button and subscribe for more of the greatest content. And let me know if you want more of these kind of videos in the future. Because I will do them. And also because, you know, I want to do more of these, like, uh, console. I want to get my console a bit more. And just, you know, play some games that I haven't played for quite a while. And, yeah. Alright, let's do this. This here, right behind me here, is the golf course that Stampy made. And this is another recreation, but some of it is like a little bit different. Some of it, some of it's not. So yeah, you got they have names now. All right, I, I named them. Um, so yeah, I don't, don't know how you could miss this. I've done all the paths, pretty much the same. Some of the course layout is pretty much the same also. Like uh, this hole two is the same, and the dog house. Um, don't know where the dog is there, but yeah, that, that is supposed to be there. I did the redstone for this, uh, the castle one, where, but unfortunately you, you could probably get this in a hole in one. Yeah, um, when I was trying to build this, I didn't have enough space and I couldn't be bothered to do it again, so that's what I've done. So th this is really just what's inside here. The redstone is just below there. So then here we go is hole number five, the nether. So I've used pressure plates because I don't know the water didn't work or something. But it, it works as much the same. I mean I think Stampy did it differently but this works the same also. And I may, I should have maybe, like incorporated, like, you know, break this, break this, and then it's in the hole. I could, honestly, that that, that could be something. But I don't, I don't think it will, it would work or so. So here we here have the hole six, and hole six has like, um, again, most of the same stuff from what. Stand being included, you've got the tree here, and once you throw it, you could throw it into the tree, and you could get it in pretty much pretty easy. You could also just go around the ice like that and get it in, but it doesn't matter. Alright, here we go is number hole seven, it's the mine. Um, I can't really tell you why I've done this kind of thing. I I'm not really sure. I did this like two years ago or something. Um, really not the same, but yeah, if I, that's pretty much it. it. Is something I created because um, I think that I needed another hole. So this is basically the new, like hole eight, the end with sand, and you just put you know. You throw the ball, and it goes through the whole pyramid kind of thing, and then you throw it in here, and you win, really. Then some fireworks come out. There you go. There's the fireworks. However, however, there is a secret hole, which he never incorporated into his uh, build. Which, if I go down here, I will find the final the finale par 5 hole to make it to um, the end of the pretty much the, the course so the ice just keeps going down here and then we make it to here the, and you basically have to stand here in order to the, you know, the ball to actually move or you just get you know, thrown in the pit so this is supposed to be like an ender dragon type thing um, and then the hole is right there, and then you win, really. So you then come out here, 
and it says thanks for playing hope you enjoyed which is quite nice as you go out there next game I'm going to show you is the um, the cat and mice mini game where you have if you don't watch Sammy's videos uh, he made this game and I've then I've then looked at it looked at his vid of how to build it um, and I have d done it so there's a cat in the middle with a diamond sword and then he just goes around and tries to kill all the mice take the cheese stop from stealing this yellow these yellow cheese which are basically you know it's supposed to be cheese but and then they you put the stuff there so then we then come to doggy hockey which was um, a really nice game which you just gotta push your dog along the ice and score into the goal and it does make the sounds that um, so if I just like yeah just get use this this bricks light up and it'll make noise if you heard that now if I press this again it will you know push out the dog from the danger zone and make it possible to play some hockey so here over here is the game where you have dolphins really and you they have to they have to run along here um, and get up the water and run along there and run along there to the end to pull the lever and then wh whoever this shark <coughs> or so is will be drop down and will I don't know, fall into the water. So it works like this. So if we press this, the water will come on. It, it basically these are traps to try and stop the dolphins from actually getting there. Uh, so this is not, you know, press that, blocks will extend out, and you press that, then the arrows will fire. And uh, let me just show you to prove that this works. If I pull the lever, the le you know, you fall down into the water, and then you can get out from here. So then we come over to this um, amazing, like uh, dunk. So this game is basically you have to dunk someone. So someone will stand up here, um, and you just you know stand here. You then in that minecart have to shoot with arrows. Um, at the little painting here, the painting will fall down, or just again the bricks. If I throw that down, then the thing will retract, and you'll be dunked really into the water. You'll be able to get out pretty easily though. So if you're wondering what this is, um, it's supposed to be a, a station for it. You know, like the Stanby's tree train. If you don't, I'm actually talking about. Just go watch his videos. Yeah, anyway, this is supposed to be his representation of this tree train, which is basically his transportation system all around his funland. So, this is supposed to be full of minecarts, which is not. But anyway, you just it's basically the same experience. You just you know, whiz here to the funland and whiz here. To the desert, which we'll be going next. So I guess we'll let's just let me just take a minecart um, and just go to the desert, really. So yeah, looks much the same as, and then just turn to stone because I thought it was quite nice um, and all that. So guys, we're in the desert, and I guess I will start off by showing you. The roller coaster. So like he's he's done with the creeper coaster. I've kind of done like uh, my own version of it, but without creepers, of course. So let, let me just take a ride on here. Whoa, we're going so fast here. And then we just go into the village village ahead. We see the emerald. Um, lot and because emeralds are quite nice. And uh, yeah, pretty much. And I just whiz up here and go down. Whee. 
I then just didn't see inside the squid's head and I keep going forward and then I just turn around like this and then I just I'm up here and I just see everything around me and then I say wow I'm the best I then keep going and then I keep whizzing along on this amazing journey I'm still whizzing along literally this is taking forever oh my gosh we just you know we fell and then we're here so there you go guys that's my roller coaster with a skeleton under it amazing so here we go um, here's the bank which is better than what well, Stampy's kind of done again again this has seemed to all be Stampy's things and yeah this is so basically yeah it kind of works on a normal bank where you have these these things which when when I put them to night um, when I put this um, wall to night then you'll just see that the pistons will extend and they'll be you know you can't get in or so because I've got a little um, daylight center under these pistons uh, outside which will stop you know people coming in and stealing stuff so the way to the vault is you just go down again I've, in I've got inspiration from Stampy, you just bounce, you know, parkour on these things. Um, honestly, I think that this should be, you know, even blocks should be placed. But anyway, again, you have to f shoot these um, arrow buttons to get through the to the next thing. One, two, three. Four. So I've hit them all, and I can just now go wherever I want, really. So many years I've had this, and anyway, I've got no clue what this is. I honestly can't even remember what, what to do. Yeah, it's the, um, the different kind of levers you have to pull so that they'll drop you into lava I think one of them will do that I'm not sure which one but one of them will anyway this part is you just get a boat and you just um, you just choose the right you kind of force you because you're thinking, oh, I'm going to the, you know, treasure, or the bank, but you're not. So guys, this is another trick. I think it's the most trickiest of all. Uh, so if you just like go here, you won't know at all. But there you go. Amazing. Door opens up, and then you can just go through. Surely no one will know where my secret base is now. Okay, I just press this this button and I can just go through here. Basically, I just forgot about it. And what, what you have to do is just find the hole that has like lava, water and lava. So basically, you'll just put, be put out and you'll be alright afterwards. And everything will be alright. So the, here's your final challenge to open the door. Just throw on like, I don't know things like this and the door will open like that and then you can get into the vault then it's all good these doors will shut after a few hours so yeah that'll be alright and then you just pull the lever here to get out. I go up a little, very long ladder, and I take a minecart, which will take me back to the town. 
Really? Just go around here. And yeah, we're here. The beauty of this is that no one will actually know. So if I spray step on these pressure plates and just... There you go. Literally, you're back here. You're back into this hallway of you know where the where you have the minecart and everything so i think that's pretty good i guess anyway i'm gonna have to end this video again sorry about this but this took quite a long a little bit of a long time uh for this video so guys i'm gonna do a part three to this video hope you enjoyed the, this video do leave a like and subscribe for more great content and Hi guys, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!